Greeting for the nation. This week, or today, we're taking on the University of Texas Longhorns. The Longhorns, for the few of you who don't know, start off the season in kind of a rough spot, losing two out of three of the first games, and via their defensive coordinator. But ever since their second loss this season, they have won all but one of their games, which was a loss to Oklahoma State two weeks ago. So, from the beginning of the season, Texas has improved a whole lot to be quite a challenge for us to take on for the past few weeks. Our defense has not really showed up too much, especially against one. I mean, near the end, as I've been saying countless times, West Virginia started running the ball effectively against us in the second half. OU ran the ball down our guts. Oklahoma State attacked us completely. Kansas State embarrassed us. And Baylor just run us over. But that's to be expected from Baylor. <laughs> but, so, we really have the hope that our defense has at least woke on blocking the run because, given the fact that it's Casey McCoy in the quarterback position and stated David Ass, who's out due to a concussion. They're going to be running the ball a whole lot more since they don't really let him throw it all that much compared to Ass. Mostly due to him not being that good of a ball throw and making some mistakes every now and again. As I'm sure several Texas fans already know. So, we have to work on connecting tackles and not in the arm tackles and learning when we stack the box not to let it run through somehow through poor positioning and poor player making because our defense in the beginning of the season kept us in the games and helped us win games but now, our defense has become quite a hindrance for us. And this is probably the, I don't know how many years in a row we have had a really bad run defense. I think three or two now. And it's rough seeing the uh, defense that's got it for a massive amount of yardage. So, if we want to have any hopes of winning our final game of the season, which is another Thursday game. We gotta work on that. Or oh, execute effectively, that is, since you can't really practice anymore. Offensively, we have been doing alright. I mean, so our offense is still pretty good, but we still can't run the ball that well at all. And we've been making a lot of stupid turnovers that have been costing us and against a team like Texas or any team that for that matter turning the ball over as many times as we've been doing it is pathetic and it's no wonder why we have lost the game we have lost so just hold on the ball more and be much more with it because if we limit the turnovers our offense is pretty dangerous and in, in my opinion can beat almost any team in the league right now but those mistakes have cost us greatly in the past and I do not want to see them again especially on a game like this when the entire nation's watching on Thanksgiving which by the way is this our first time playing on Thanksgiving? Because I don't remember one ever, unless it was in the 20s or 30s or something. <laughs> but 
Another thing we need to do is don't go for the field goals. Well, we've been going for field goals a whole lot, especially in the red zone. And I cat. Stuff like that has been. <laughs> Sorry about the cat. Stuff like that has not only really helped us too much at all. For when we especially touchdowns and you know getting momentum, we just been fledgling some. So we got to learn how to connect on plays and follow through on them. For Getting a field goal is always a thing I don't like seeing, especially when it's on the 5 or 10 yard line, because that just sucks. But, I do see Texas's defense putting up a slight problem, but not so much that it's got to be as challenging as Baylor's was for us in the second half. I don't see that kind of stuff happening. Nor do I see them being like a TCU catapult secondary. I just don't. So, my prediction for the final score in this game. Ah, sorry about that. My cat went a little nuts a second there. So, my prediction for the final score in this game, it's going to be a close one, I think. This is definitely going to be a, a fun game to watch, I think. So, the score is going to be... Thirty-five Texas Tech and thirty-one Texas. Here after the game, later nation. Guns up, later up and welcome tech. And happy Thanksgiving.